Okay, so this crypto news story is absolutely mind-boggling. So a lot to unpack here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I really hope you get as much out of this as I did when I just read it before deciding to make a video because I had to talk about this. So a couple things in this article I kind of knew about, but there are some interesting things. And full disclosure here, this is relatively new, so there's some rumors. It looks like those rumors have been dispelled. We're going to talk about it, and uh, I'll let you make your decision. As we go through this, drop your thoughts and comments down below. Is it bearish? Is it bullish? Because that's kind of what I'm toggling with. You'll see what I mean when we get into this story. So BTC price plunges $1,000 on rumors that government wallets are on the move. Let's Before we even dive into some of the details here, let's talk about this. Uh, the U.S. government is who they're talking about, and they do have a ton of Bitcoin from confiscated cases like Silk Road right? Uh, and some other top ones. I think there's like four of them. That's just off the top of my head, but that's really not an important detail. But we do know they hold a lot of Bitcoin. They actually hold a little bit more than China does. Uh, at least they do right now. China also holds Bitcoin through, you know, confiscating it right through um, bad actors. So let's dive in because the details here are what are really interesting. So in a widely disputed now deleted tweet that happened on Monday, uh, wait, today's not Monday. Uh, it happened May 10th. They almost got me there. A Twitter user known as Beetle shared a rumor that U.S. government Bitcoin wallets are on the move. So here was the snapshot of the tweet. Of course, everybody screenshots everything. All right, you really can't read this. It's not, you know, well done here. But the tweet that sent the rumor spreading through crypto Twitter did this to the Bitcoin chart. Look at that. We were at 28,000 plus and then went all the way down below 27,000. Now, after Twitter user known, uh, known as Beetle posted that, there were uh, a ton of alerts that Bitcoin wallets were on the move. The price of the world's largest crypto obviously plummeted like we just talked about. The tweet, though, was quickly disputed by other well-known regulars on crypto Twitter, including uh, Zach ZBT. Isn't it Zach XBT? Um not sure, but I've seen him before. He's done some fantastic work. He dove into the FTX uh, drama quite a bit. Now, not long after, Beetle deleted the original post and then tweeted they didn't have any confirmation of the rumor. The account was briefly then set to protected mode afterward, and the price of Bitcoin entered into recovery. And you could see it right now slowly coming back up. In fact, almost coming all the way back up to 28000 But that big price dip, that's what happened here. OK, which is fascinating. Now, a similar event occurred two weeks ago, back on April 26th, a rumor that both Mt. Gox and U.S. government wallets were moving Bitcoin caused the cryptocurrency to drop by more than 2000 within a single hour. Later, it was clarified that the rumor was caused by an Arcam intelligence alert caused by a bug. Now, one of the reasons crypto Twitter obviously is up in arms about this is there was a recent announcement it's intending to sell over 50,000 Bitcoin before the end of the year. The authorities already offloaded close to 10,000 of the crypto and revealed they'll undertake four more sales in 2023. Now, while the U.S. government uh, also stated it would be careful with the timing of the sale to minimize the impact on the market, investors already proved uneasy with the notion. Adding to this tension, Mt. Gox affiliated wallets holding more than 100,000 Bitcoin also came to life on April 24th. Additionally, a report from Monday, May 10th, revealed that Jane Street and Jump Trading, two major market makers, were winding down their involvement with the cryptocurrency market. The news sparked fears about the current state of the liquidity of various digital assets. Now, here's the thing we do know about Bitcoin and crypto in general, right? It is global. Uh, but this is the information we have right now. It's pretty fascinating. It's interesting. Now, in terms of how this makes me feel as an investor, I mentioned this at the top of the video, like, is this bearish? Is this bullish? I would like to say it's probably somewhere in between. You know, I mean, here's the thing. If, you know, Michael Saylor from MicroStrategy came out and did this, he'd have, you know, just as much of an impact, if not more, right? I mean, and there are a ton of Bitcoin whales. I, I think it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Like, obviously, you don't want all that sell pressure, but it also adds uh, in a ton of opportunity for people to buy the dip, right? So I think you would see a lot of this happen at once. Maybe we're already seeing that happen in some cases, Maybe that's why Bitcoin's kind of been stuck where it is here for a little while after climbing over 30,000 and retracing. I don't know. We're going to need more information, right? But it's fascinating to say the least that this story actually is out there and it exists. Uh, and I want to get your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, comment, 
down there. If you really enjoyed this video, let me know by subscribing to the channel as well. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.